Welcome back to another day here on the Lord Kind of Pixel Boring Client. Today we are playing DuckTales. Oh woo! <laughs> Did you guys know that if you take every single DuckTales card that uh, is out right now and you put four copies of each into a deck, you have a 60 card deck? I don't know if that was intentional or not, and that is not the deck we're playing, but <laughs> if you want to play DuckTales, that is definitely a way to do it. You could get four copies of every DuckTales character for a 60 card deck. Absolutely wild. I have made some changes, of course, though. We are playing Harem Flaversham, four copies. We're also playing Popsicle and Fishbone Quill. Uh, those are the three non-DuckTales characters in here. A little ramp never hurts. Card draw is huge, so the Harem and the Popsicle are here for that. Everything else is DuckTales. Lena, Saberwing, Magical Dispel, Huey, Scrooge McDuck, Dewey, Gyro, Gearloose. I'm not honestly super familiar with this character, but I vaguely recognize him. Magical Dispel, a different one. Flintheart, Glomgold, uh, Louie, Scrooge McDuck, the big one. Magical Dispel, the big one. Scrooge's Top Hat, Vault Door, Lucky Dime, and of course, McDuck Manor, the entire deck, minus those three cards, are DuckTales. And like I said, you could do four copies of every card and you have a 60 card deck. I don't believe I've missed any DuckTales characters in these two colors. I should have said that in these two colors, it's exactly a 60 card deck. Off the top of my head, I can't actually even think of the other DuckTales characters in the other colors, but just to cover my bases, these two colors, 60 card deck, if you really wanted to go for it. Do we win games with this deck? I think the answer is no because it's janky, but is it fun? I think the answer is yes. And today's games, I think are going to absolutely surprise you. It was a roller coaster ride for me. Absolute blast. Uh, a lot of like some of the synergies come together. It looks really nice. Spoilers, Huey, Dewey, and Louie does not work. It's not that it's broken on Pixelborn. It's just actually impossible to get all three together at the same time and be able to draw the three cards with Huey's ability. It's actually impossible. You can't do it. I don't believe you. You're a liar. It can't be done. <laughs> So don't bank on these guys, but the support on Dewey and Louie is huge and fantastic. But of course, we're going to win most of our games thanks to Magic of Dispel here and the Lucky Dime. Just that little synergy combo is strong and oppressive and amazing. Now, before we jump into the game, all the stuff behind me, I'm giving it away tomorrow. Patreon tier three. Join today. Today's your last chance to get in on this raffle. Of course, you can join at any time and you'll be in for uh, all future raffles. But if you get in today, I cannot stress that enough. It's today that you have to join. Uh, you'll be able to uh, get in for this raffle and you'll enter the loyalty program portion of the raffles that we're moving into. The loyalty is going to basically going to be the booster box and the enchanted cards are going to be one grand prize and only the loyalty members are going to have access to that particular prize. Everything else will still stay the same basically. It's just that the grand prize is going to get grander and there's going to be slightly fewer prizes so the grand prizes can be grander. But that is all I have to say about the DuckTales deck. That's all I got to say about uh, the Patreon. Let's jump in and see just how well the DuckTales actually perform. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be one of those days. Steel Song, I'm going first. Like I'm sure I said in the intro, I have about this much faith in being able to win with this deck. Okay, it's cool though to see every single card in here is a DuckTales card. That is pretty cool. Uh, I'm actually only missing Dewey here for that. Uh, let's, let's, let's try for it, shall we? I'll put these three back. Got us a Scrooge McDuck. Uh, I got dupies. I don't want dupies. I want Dewey. All right, we'll get rid of the duplicate. And passive the turn. If there's any chance we're gonna win this game, it's gonna be via a Magicka Dispel and a Lucky Dime combo. It's only chance, <laughs> I think. <laughs> we will see. One Stinker Bell gone. Wait a minute, is that him? It's the Dewey! Wow. Now, I have said on my Discord many times, no way you get Huey, Dewey, and Louie all in play. Because you have to start with Huey, and Huey's got all the special text. So your opponent knows right away they have two turns to deal with him. And our opponent's playing Steel, and we have two Toughness. Uh, that's very easy for Steel to deal with. 
There goes the sad boy beast. Inking a $40 card, as some commenters have put it. <laughs> that is a pretty big feel bad, isn't it? Ha! Absolute whiff, and then we draw the dime. <laughs> well, there's the dime to go with my magic card, but I'm gonna... It'll be... Hmm. If Huey survives... And Dewey, they both have to survive. I'll play Louie and I'll do the Huey. I suspect Huey dies here. I think they ink and I think they just play... Uh, what was it called? Let it go or let the storm rage on, whatever it is. The, the, the steel one that does two damage. There it is! Absolutely predictable. Alright, we're going straight into magic and dispel then. We're gonna work on our dime. I've told you. I've said it many times. No need to support. I've said it a lot. It's not possible to get the three out together. You have to play against like an aggro deck, but then that's bad too because then they're just going to be on like 14 lore by the time you get it off and you've done nothing. Ariel. Oh, don't tell me you're going to get a whole new world. They got a whole new world. <laughs> so we're gonna lose the lucky dime. It's okay, there's three there's two more in the deck. There's two more. That's right, it is one they got cut for being uninkable. The only downside here is we have no items. So magic is just a four six. That's all. Just a four six. They're gonna play a whole new world next turn. Let's get Magicka down. I'll quest anyway. Fast the turn. There are many other items in the deck, and if they whole new world us, Magicka will likely be able to quest. I am expecting a Robin Hood shift. It'll attack and defeat Louie, and then Ariel will sing the whole new world after they've inked. There's the Robin Hood as predicted. There's the attack as predicted. Don't forget to ink. Oh, they are questing. They don't want a whole new world. That is fine with me. Something to ink. Perfect. If I do anything with Magicka, I think she just dies between opponent's removal in hand and having damage on her from taking out a character. Like, we could have taken out the Robin Hood. I don't know, I think the 7 lore off Lucky Dime is better. There's one piece of removal. Now we're gonna see a Zeus. Attacking my location. Oh no! Tis not enough. Oh, I hear him's fantastic. We know they got a whole new world in hand, though. Here comes a lucky dime. I'll get my seven now. Make them send multiple characters at Magicka. And even if we have the ink, lucky dime does not work on Magicka. Because Magicka still has zero... Lore value. Magicka works on Dime, but Dime doesn't work on Magicka. Alright, there's the McDuck Manor dealt with. They do got enough on board to take out the Magicka, and actually they would need to, because these two right here are lethal. Surprisingly, it's weird to say that in this particular matchup that I technically have lethal in play. Now, opponent also has in play the ability to stop it. But they have to sacrifice quite quite a bit of board to get there. Let's hope I don't top deck. Oh, they don't have to sacrifice Robin Hood anymore, but they still have to sacrifice the other pieces. Let's hope I don't top deck a Magicka, because it costs everything to play. <laughs> well, maybe Magicka wouldn't be so bad. Uh oh, what's opponent doing? Do they know I just win now? Huh. 
I guess they didn't realize that. <laughs> we should not have won that game! Oh, it's not a mere match. It's not a mere match. Going first. At least there's that. I've been getting really lucky on the going first bit today. Okay, Magicka's not bad. Let's get rid of my duplicates. Let's actually get rid of both of these guys. One, two. Something to fill the three. I need a Magicka as well. And a dime. Easy. Hey, look at that. Like I said, easy. I got the curve filler. One, two, three. Into four four into five. I just need a way to cheat out the dime. Well, the next turn this guy quests and then dime costs six and I have six ink. Yeah, perfect. Whatever I do, don't draw the dime immediately. I do need some ink. Thank you. Perfectly inkable. And if I'm actually going to be on play, I do need to play Scrooge McDuck here. There's the dime. You salty dog. Alright, passive the turn. The good news here, Scrooge will can actually cheat this out. Uh, so I still have one left over, then it goes in, so I've got two left over. I don't have a two drop. Eh, it can do it, but it doesn't do anything to do it. Okay. I would love to get the manor down, but it's just, it's not on curve. It's not the plan. I don't even need to get the fishbone down technically unless I draw like a top hat. Then the fishbone would be great. Snake and Tala. That's a snaky Tala right there. All right, well, you're just inkable all on your own. Do I? Hmm. <laughs> the curve is already fine. Honestly, I don't need to ramp. I guess having the item down, that's all it really comes down to, is I'll have the item for a Hiram. But not necessarily to use. Again, it also works. If I start top decking some uninkables, then all of a sudden that fish fishbone quill is uh, important to have. So it has more upside than just having a character in play. But... This deck doesn't have a very high cost. The highest costing things are these sevens. And both of these can be cheated out in other ways through the deck. Scrooge McDuck can get the dime. Uh, Magicka just shifts for five. So, you know, I don't technically need to hit seven. There's a fox gone. Deck keeps giving me some inkables. I like it. We're going to start hiding what I'm inking. Got us a Magicka. Pass the turn. So next turn I can play Magicka Dispel. The following turn I'll get the Dime down. And technically she'll be able to quest for three thanks to Fishbone. We'll see what my opponent plays though. If they have... I suspect we're going to see like Let It Goes. But not quite at Hades just yet. Alright, friends. They paid for that. That's good news for us. They can still ink, and then Fishbone ink, so they have three. Oh, that's so rough, because now they're right at, uh, Hades. Yeah, don't forget to Fishbone. Hades and let it go. That's pretty much our opponent's removal. So they surely have it. Oh, that's nice, too. Do I change the game plan based on there being a Hades? That is tough. Honestly. I think the answer is no. I think I still just go for it here. But I know my opponent has removal, right? Alright, questing for three is better than questing for two. Next turn I can get the lucky dime down. They're just checking my uh, items here. One and three. There's the let it go. We knew it was going to happen. That does ramp us though. I 
the upside to Hades and let it go, we, we're going to gain the ink both ways. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's see. How can I get both of these without inking my lucky dime? I can't. <laughs> uh, if I play lucky dime this turn, I can't just play both and activate lucky dime. Trying to find the way to maximize here. All right, this gains two. This can quest for two. So getting these out is the maximum, but then I'm going to lose my lucky dime, and that's my free ink. Otherwise, I'm pretty much stuck on playing lucky dime. Yep. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. I won't be able to activate lucky dime next turn either, so. It's a delay all around. Queen's Castle. I don't like that. <laughs> and I have no way of dealing with it. Yes, you should move your magic carpet. That's going to be a game over for me, for sure. I can't deal with a uh, Queen's Castle. Queen's Castle honestly should have had like four toughness to it before willpower. My opponent drawing three cards every turn from this point forward is pretty obnoxious. All right, I got six lore a turn, but my opponent's drawing a million cards a turn. Not sure we're going to get out of this. Just my opponent having just that one turn of card draw. It's pretty much lock and key for them. If they can't find a way to win this. <laughs> They're trying to bounce my muck, my McDuck. That's not how that works. All right, now you ink it and then you put your fox on the castle, right? There's the ink. Don't forget to uh, ink with fishbone now so you can put your fox in the castle. You want to draw those cards, my friend. I guess they didn't care that much. Alright. This is not a race I'm comfortable with. We're both playing some pretty janky decks here. <laughs> and I think my opponent's got the victory. Like, just looking at the board state and of course their five card hand. It should be impossible for me to for me to win. It should be. They could have kept that box if they wanted it. Oh, double castles? Yeah, I'm super dead. Yeah, because you need more cards, opponent. <laughs> My goodness. That's right, I forgot a broom moves things for free. Draw as many cards as you want. All right, I got four on board right here, actually. Two, three, four. All right, so opponent has to win right now or board wipe me. I'm sure they could do it. But if I top deck a character that can quest for two, Lucky Dime will still win the game. Oh, there's a there's actually a solid chance I can get out of this. But yeah, they need to defeat Louie and they have to defeat McDuck. Or they could defeat the manor. They could have carpet attack the manor and then have two foxes. 
But then that's gonna cost pretty much everything, and then I just have Louie. Okay, so there's Louie dealt with. Ooh, that's that's rough because McDuck's a lot harder to target now. Are we gonna pull out of this? Opponent drew a million cards, had double Queen's Castles. Literally, I've had like no cards in my hand this whole game. Opponent has a million. Are we gonna do it? McDuck Manor doesn't do it. That's game. That's wild. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, it's a little aggro. Huey, Dewey, and Louie might actually work. I would just have to get them. Can I get them? I got... I got Louie. Uh... Hmm. Hiram pops the thing, draws cards. Gyro gets it back. That's an interesting little combo, isn't it? Alright, well, I gotta try for the Huey, Dewey, Louie, because it's... And nowhere near it. <laughs> nowhere near it at all. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, man. I'm getting a lot of items. Hiram's looking pretty good, though. Sudden chill. So it's a little bit of a hand disruption. So I definitely want to get Hiram online. Which means I'm probably not playing... Okay, well, unless for the next enemy plays turn. So I can get Top Hat down and play a Popsicle. Ooh, Top Hats are cool. <laughs> ah, still not a Huey Dewey Louie. All I got is a Louie. I like it. Turn two, I have three items in play. Hiram's looking absolutely stunning right now. Two, three, fours, evasive during my turn, or support. Either way, I'm playing Hiram, right? <laughs> like, my turn four is pretty occupied. I could get two fish bones down too, couldn't I? Thanks to the hat. Could I? Let's see, I go up to three, it costs two, and then I use it to ink a thing. I think I could. Man, I got a lot of stuff. Turn shows an item. Costly Couture less than- I could bounce the Popsicles and then replay them for free, but her questing for two I think is just better. I definitely need to get one of these things down. It'll fight that. Uh, I'm not cheating out a Hiram this turn, but so that means I'm pretty much only playing the Fishbowl. Alright, let's go ahead and ink you. I don't need two fish bones. Pass the turn. Alright, we're pretty much going to go straight into Hiram, because I, I suspect some hand hate right here. Hopefully it's... They, the, it's not a song, right? The Mufasa in the sky makes you discard two cards, whatever that one's called. You have forgotten me, that's it. It's not you have forgotten me. It's not a song, so they couldn't sing it, but that's what I would suspect in there. That's right, we are immediately going into a Hiram. Gotta restock my hand so the hand hate strategy does not do anything. Oh, I got a Vault Door and a McDuck Manor? That's fantastic. Oh, and I got the Gyro. Hmm, well we're not getting Huey Dewey Louie down. But that is also my card that's gonna take out the Queen. Well, crap on a cracker! Well, if they still got discard, I can't afford to use the Fishbone. So let's not show them what I'm inking. Hmm, locations and characters get resist one. Ah, it'd be so good with the McDuck Manor! I definitely gotta try to get this going. Ah, I was afraid of that. So we're definitely gonna pick you. I'm gonna pick the Vault Door. I'm gonna keep the McDuck Manor. So we called it. We knew it was the You Have Forgotten Me. I know McDuck Manor is at least good enough, it wins games.
Ooh, that's good too. Well, let's start here. We'll pop a popsicle. Some more fodder. Let's see. Hiram just dies, right? It's just dead. So we're gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna play a Magicka, not for her ability, but because she'll take down these threats. Right? They both have to turn sideways to take down Hiram, in which case Magicka just annihilates them. <clears throat> we can say goodbye to the McDuck Manor. I'm pretty sure they'll make us discard it here. There it comes. Play your discard spell. Or another character. Oh, a Flynn. That's good. One rush is really not really great, is it? <laughs> not particularly. I will eliminate you. All right. This is more along the lines of what I suspected for this this deck to do. To just... It's supposed to lose. There's no real synergies. Crap, two Flynn's and I have like no removal in the deck. <laughs> uh, let's see. I got something in here that gains evasive, right? It's the uh, Flint Hot Glummy Stummy guy. Hmm. If I play this card, I lose the game. <laughs> oh, it has to be a song. It didn't work. I don't lose immediately, but this game is over. This is exactly how I suspected the DuckTales deck to work. All right, and we are dead. We'll just pass the turn. Let him win. Do the right thing and just quest. Do the right thing and just don't say well played. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Thank you. <laughs> oh, DuckTales. Ooh, ketchup and mustard. A Mufasa deck for sure, right? Pretty much guaranteed every time. Um, hmm. I do like the Scrooge looking at the lucky dime. But outside of that, there's really a whole lot of nothing. Let's get rid of the Hiram's. Ugh, I don't like them, but they make for good ink. I'll, I'll, I'll support the curve. Two into three. Alright, a bunch of duplicates. That's what you don't want to see, right? I do like the support. Alright, we're going to get rid of one of you. We're going to pass the turn. The upside for the Huey Dewey Louie. Is is it it's Dewey and Louie. They each quest for two. Which is huge. Ooh, uh Magica Dispel. And there's Lucky Dime. I'm either playing you or I'm playing you, and I think I'm playing Magica just because it has a slightly higher attack. Otherwise, they both largely do nothing. Are we gonna see a shift queen here? What song could they play? If anything, their deck's not going to be running songs. Maybe Bare Necessities? I mean, certainly Bare Necessities, right? Possibly a Teeth? But really, they're probably not running any spells. Just characters. There's the Queen, as expected. Vault door does nothing without a location. Pass the turn. Alright, I got Dewey support. Magicka now trades with the queen. Which I think is worth it. 
There goes a Mufasa. I told you it was a Mufasa deck. <laughs> Lantern to play a two drop here. Mother Gothel. All right, they're setting up to draw cards with uh, Rapunzel, and there's nothing I can do about it. Whoa, are you telling me I have two pieces of the puzzle? Well, they didn't do anything, so I guess we're waiting too. Okay. Right, the only reason to quest here is for the support mechanic. Ooh, I do like the prince. They got a really good teeth and ambitions combo with that. <clears throat> Doesn't take anything out though. They didn't have the Rapunzel, which is great. And are they gonna ink? They did not ink. That's huge. All right, let's see. If I quest with Dewey, two to Magicka. Magicka defeats the queen. Well, they trade. Dewey either dies to Mother Gothel, and then that's the end of all of that, or Prince Eric dies to Dewey, and then I have to sacrifice a character, in which case I'd sacrifice Dewey. So either way, I'm losing two characters. Patience or get rid of the queen? They obviously want me to, a to attack. They could play a Maui. That's probably what it is, right? It's going to be a Maui. Let's do it. Let's trade. Yeah, because either way, I don't mind this. The only way this turns out bad is when the Rapunzel comes down, right? Because they're drawing a card. Rapunzel's bad regardless of the board state. <clears throat> and if Prince Eric... So he gets to choose the Banishing, right? So there goes my Scrooge McDuck. Forgot about that he gets to choose with Prince Eric. Gonna get rid of Louie. I'm enjoying that my opponents are overestimating the power of Huey, Dewey, Louie. Rush Queen. We're gonna trade? We're gonna trade. Mother Gothel will never do anything here. <laughs> really? You got a one drop for me? Or are you just activating it to activate it? You do got a one drop for me. Ooh, there's a Magicka. If I could just get Scrooge to defeat a character, we'll be in good shape. I want to play Dewey. But also, I have a really powerful combo in my hand. And it's possible that Scrooge can take out a thing, get Lucky Dime down for free, and then I hard cast Magicka next turn. It is possible. It requires a little help from my opponent. It also requires an inkable off the top. There goes a the Maui. Opponent's about to play their last card. A Mufasa. Fantastic. Opponent's going to go for it. And I got my inkable. Wow, this is looking good. I'll take out the Lilo. Get me a magic dime. Play a magic a dispel. Pass the turn. Now I'm set up to gain seven lore a turn. <laughs> Let's see if my opponent takes out my Scrooge McDuck. It's really not a threat anymore. They really shouldn't attack it. They should be questing. That is such a gamble. You don't know what's on top. Of course, my opponent. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say my opponent always hits big, but Lilo's not gonna cut it. We're gonna see a Mother Gothel trade as well. Surely they're holding on to it at this point for a Rapunzel. Yeah, that's what they were hoping for too, is a Rapunzel. Well, I got nothing else going on. 
three, four, five, six. They do have exactly enough to take down a Magicka. Unless I trade Scrooge here. They'll have to top deck a queen, which they could do and will be really sucky. <laughs> But they could do it. Or a Maui rush. Crap. There's two Maui's gone. There's one attack. Character defeated. Here's a second attack. Character defeated. Now they just need to play something and hope I get greedy. Ooh, that's rough. That is very rough for my opponent. Got the well played from the opponent! Show me what you drew, if you can. They can't. We're not supposed to win games! <laughs> Is this gonna be a healing deck? I think it might be. Oh, I got a McDuck Manor and a Vault Door. Can I do anything about it though? Probably not. Uh, one of his character banished another character. Challenge should be playing item for free. I don't have any items! All right, let's get rid of all of these. Let's keep a Magicka. Eh, let's try the McDuck. I don't think we're gonna get there. Okay, interesting. It's a nice card, but I think we're just gonna be on curve here. I actually have a curve. Who would have thought? Pass the turn. Ah, Huey, you say? I don't have Dewey or Louie, though. <laughs> if I draw Dewey slash Louie, I'll consider playing this guy instead of my Magicka. Maurice! So some kind of... I well, of course items, right? Because Popsicles heal. Coconut baskets heal. So of course items. Uh, we're definitely not on the item bandwagon this go around. Uh, let's go Dewey, just because they don't know that I'm even rocking Magicka. The second I play a Magicka, they know Magicka's on the table with, like, a dime strategy. <laughs> mm, Yashua, sweet. Noi! Uh, I mean, this is technically an item. But I would have needed it last turn to be able to curve. Okay. Let's go. Hmm, my ink ability options are incredibly limited here, aren't they? Hmm, doesn't really do much, does it? It doesn't die to Noi, and I don't have the- I don't have the brothers. Let's get my point. <laughs> I didn't know that if you try to push the past your turn while you got a trigger on this deck, it says, Hey, it's your turn. I did not know it did that. <laughs> Alright, we got the quest from Noi, but what else do they got? I'm highly suspecting it's a healing deck. Let it go inked. That's great news for Scrooge McDuck. What is Scrooge's power? Three? Not very strong, is he? Tough enough to defeat a Baloo. I wish I could ink you right now. Mm, goes to the top of the deck. That's unfortunate. I'd love to have two McDuck Manors, but I really want to try to get this Vault Door situation going. I don't suspect it's good. Mm, and with the way my opponent's playing, honestly, I think the McDuck Manners are just superior. Very low power characters. Well, I could take out the bodyguard. So I will. Yeah, they gained two lore off of it, but it's it's gone now. Passeth the turneth. Yeah, having the bodyguard dealt with. You know, who knows what else they're going to play. It might be nice to have the option and not have to only be able to attack the bodyguard. 
Another let it go. That's doubly good for Scrooge McDuck. They're probably looking at their hand going, or looking at my field going, yeah, I don't want to hit that. <laughs> That's such a waste for that card. There's a Simba. There's... I got double Hueys. I don't want double Hueys. I think I just want double manners, honestly. The support is nice. Gets rid of a Simba. And then I could heal it? Ah. I'll save a Popsicle for a Hiram. We've only inked one, right? So there's still three left in the deck. Ariel, here we go. Now it's about to get interesting. We're going to see a whole new world? <laughs> no. Uh, no, let's say invalid deck if it was a triple color deck. That's right. It does, it does tell you when it's actually a triple color or more deck. It doesn't tell you how many colors, but it says invalid deck. So, definitely still, for sure, a two color deck. Songs in those two colors? Basically, Let It Go is the real only removal, and they've inked two of them. So, not the most potent thing. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Good game opponent. Let's beef you up. Let's take Noi down. Uh, I could heal... Gyro. I think I will. I'll heal him if my opponent doesn't do anything to deal with him. Maybe I'll use the ability to get the poop sickle back. The only problem is he goes to the top of the deck. The upside though is I still get a draw as if it was normal thanks to the poop sickle. It just cost me an ink. Not a Hades! Hmm. <laughs> You're like, I am so sick of that support. <laughs> well, the McDuck Manners are actually going to win us a game. That's pretty cool. Let's get a Scrooge McDuck. And let's get a Top Hat. And then... I don't really need to. But let's use this ability because it's there. The McDuck Manners are going to win the game. Plus Scrooge... Scrooge's top hat here makes the popsicle free. Just in case they have a way around my McDuck manners. Wow! Scrooge's mansion wins the game! <laughs> this is definitely going to be one of my shorter videos, isn't it? <laughs> Cogsworth? Just didn't get there. Hey, they just inked my popsicle. That's funny. And now the game is over. Easy. We're not supposed to win games. Hmm, interesting. Is this a dime deck? Probably. Everyone seems to like the dime deck best. I don't like it. I think it's pretty lame. This Magicka is pretty interesting. It's also really weak though. Uh, hmm. I don't have my partner piece for that. Get rid of you. Top Hat does not ramp into Fishbone. So we get rid of Top Hat. And Scrooge and Gyro. Yeah. Pretty much Dewey and Fishbone. I would love to get the Huey Dewey Louie thing going, but it's just not possible. First of all, it's incredibly hard to get them all in the hand. Okay, let's see. I don't need duplicates. Pass the turn. Fishbone. Popsicle. Where were you, young man? You're lucky that I... I guess I do have a turn one play. Or turn two play, sorry. And Scrooge McDuck can play the popsicle on the following turn. Uh, yeah, okay. 
Sorry, Huey, Dewey, Louie. You guys just are not good. <laughs> I like that they all quest for two, but they're fairly weak. And very difficult to assemble. We need some, like, deck searching mechanics in the game. Did I just get another Dewey? That's all of the Deweys in the deck, isn't it? No, there's four in the deck. There's four Deweys in the deck. It's Louie that's the three of. Um, hmm. Well. <laughs> I'm inking you. I hate to do it, but. You can come down. You can quest. That'll let me play my poop circle. Oh, but that also makes that cheaper. I could either choose to ramp or get this down. I think ramping is better. All right. I want to get my Scrooge McDuck down with my McDuck Manor. So on theme. <laughs> I need Scrooge. I need a McDuck Manor, and I need a dime. I just need the whole trifecta. All right. Here comes the ramp. Next turn, we'll see a hero. So this turn, I'll actually be ahead of them. I get to hear him first. Why is their hand so much thicker than mine? I know they got to draw one card, but they're two cards above me. Well, at least I keep getting good inkables, right? I should have held on to it. Let's hear him. It's fine. Well, I could ink this and play the hat. That gets me actually really close to the lucky dime. We got a sweet top hat in play. Heck yeah. What's the fuzzball in the background? I do not know. I'm sure it's from the show somewhere. Hopefully it's not from the new AG show that my son watches and... I want all these guys to be from the show that I watched. All right, there goes my Scrooge McDuck. Screwing up my plans. I had the top hat. I had the manor. I had it all. I had it all. Hmm. The Maui's super annoying, isn't he? He really screws up a lot of things. Hmm. Do I just get the dime down and wait? If I play the McDuck manor, Maui certainly attacks it. Problem is, do they have a way to finish it? Do they got a fish, uh, his fish something fishbone fish sword thing <laughs> uh, but if I get you I don't have to pop either of these to draw cards next turn not an easy decision is it I think your ink and I think I play you And you know what? I think we're gonna get rid of the top hat and draw some cards here. Not bad. And we'll activate a lucky dime. All right, now I have a Hiram to replace. To replace the Hiram that's about to die. That'll draw me some more cards, and I likely won't need my fish bone at that point anyway. Opponent has a really strong top end game. We literally have nothing. Our most expensive card is seven for the diamond magicka. Not a Gaston. That's gastonishing of you. About time. My goodness, those trigger screens are so annoying. I wish they did not exist. Tomatoa down. Develop your brain. So they had more cards in their deck than we did, because they started off by drawing a card and now we're finally tied. Possibly. I've been drawing cards too. <clears throat> I got a little Magicka. Well, if I play the McDuck Manor, it just straight out dies to Maui and Gaston. Uh, 
Another lucky dime. I definitely want to get you down, but I also want to be able to activate lucky dime. Can't do it all. I'll just get you set up so we can start diming. I want to get us in a position where we can get the big magicka down. For the, uh... The coup de gras. I know you're looking at it. They see the magicka and all of a sudden they know. They're like, oh! <laughs> they have the lucky dime combo. Popsicle to heal the Maui. What are you planning? Why was that so important? Ah, Tamatoa. Of course, to get the, the to get the poopsicle back. Now they can fishbone and play a poopsicle. <clears throat> well, this race is about to get really obnoxious. Wow, I got it in my hand. I am not going to activate it. All right. Let's see, I can go to, well that's dead, right? Maui has to attack. So I can go to 11 and then gain seven on my turn. Nope. Ah, uh, stinking Lady Tremaines. Of course, I, f I forgot about them. That's my fault. <clears throat> Plus opponents at that range where pretty much everything in their hand is just straight removal at this point. So I need a Magicka to survive so I can get the quick one out. Like, I can't even wait for this to be a lethal aha. Just needed to survive. Like I said, McDuck Manor won't survive. It'll just get dead. You should have quested with Tamatoa first. That was, uh, it's back and forth because questing gets an item back. I think they just have us here. I would need something pretty fantastic, and I don't have it. <laughs> Let's see, I could play the gear loose and go to nine. I play Magicka. Okay, I, I just need Magicka to survive. I don't think she will, but I just need her to survive. You're not going to do it for me anymore, so let's get you as ink as a just-in-case. And another Lady Tremaine. There's absolutely no way we can win at this point. <laughs> 